Hey Libra, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading. Um, I actually, I don't normally choose the order of how I do the readings, but I am choosing Libra first this week. Uh, my sister's a Libra and you might notice on the thumbnail, um, her dog is uh, going through a lot right now. Um, her dog's name is Scout. And, you know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know <laughs> that I definitely have a love of animals, a love of dogs, um, but it's all animals, honestly. Um, and, you know, I guess the, the, the biggest thing is, you know, my sister might be put in the position of having to make a really difficult choice, you know, and for those of you who have gone through that, I have gone through that. Um, it's just about the worst thing, you know, for, for people that really attach to animals that are really connected to animals, you know, for me, there's almost nothing worse. <laughs> and, um, so I won't spend a lot of time on that. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, any positive thoughts for Scout or my sister are much appreciated, you know, and, you know, if it replaces comments about my, my readings, I am so fine with that. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, that's, uh, that's all I ask, I guess, uh, this week is, you know, maybe a 30 second positive thought for Scout. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you in general, you know, for, for coming to my channel, for viewing my readings, uh, you know, for being part of this experience with me. I appreciate it so much. I enjoy doing it. Um, and, you know, for those of you that have gotten personal readings from me, I think you know <laughs> that, you know, I have no other agenda than to simply um, help you as much as I can. All right. So I have no plan for the readings this week. None. You know, I pulled the decks and we're going to see what comes up. You know, I feel like the first three cards that I pull are going to direct the reading. You know, usually I spend some time thinking about what the readings will look like. Um, I have not done that this week. So, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. I kind of feel like these first three cards that I'm pulling, you know, are just a general message for, for Libra, you know, and what spirit might want to talk about for you this week, for you and the person that you're connected to, you know, and if you're not connected to somebody right now, um, you know, you might want to look at the second column here as your potential partner or, you know, you don't have to be involved with somebody um, you know, to benefit from the reading, you can, you can look at it as what is possibly to come. All right. All right. So let's see here. Uh, first card, we have letting go. So it's, I don't know. It's interesting that I was talking about that. Um, so this says emotional release. And this card is number 21, which is a three, which is about communication. You know, and this doesn't necessarily mean letting go of somebody. It might be letting go of a particular way of looking at things or an idea about a connection or a relationship. Let's see what uh, Lenormand has to say here. All right, so we have the Book of Knowledge. It's the Book of Secrets. And we have the Whip. Which, you know, I consider this card 
a little bit of self-torture. So Libra, whatever it is that, you know, spends time in your head, taking up your time, taking up your thoughts, or if you're beating yourself up about something or about an interaction between you and somebody else, it's like, let it go. Emotional release. You know, it might be that you carry around some type of guilt or shame. You know, and this could apply to your person. This could apply to the person that, you know, you're watching the, the reading for. Think about that. You know, this person might be going through this. So I don't feel like this letting go is necessarily about another person. It could be. But I feel like it's more about letting go of something that tortures, tortures you or tortures this person. You know, within their thoughts, within their heart. All right, so let's see. So you're going to be on the top, and of course, in a general reading, it can go either way. All right, so let's see, first card, five of pentacles for you. And for this person, we have ace of swords. So five of pentacles for you is about, you know, if we're talking centrally about letting something go, it, it might be for you letting go of maybe the fear of lack. Are you fearing lacking something? Are you fearing losing something or losing somebody or losing money or losing your job? It's like this is saying, you know, surrender. What will be will be and it will be okay regardless. It will be okay regardless. And down here, this person here has Ace of Swords, okay, which is the truth, facing the truth. So, you know, if this person is carrying around secrets, if this person is tortured by their own thoughts, you know, it's like, let go and let the truth be your guide, is what I feel like, you know, is being the message being given to this person. For you, there's a fear of lack. There's a fear of losing things. There's a fear of, you know, not having maybe stuff or not having, um, you know, n not having things be the way that you like them to be, okay? And down here, there's a fear of, I think, being truthful with themselves, All right, so we have Knight of Wands for you. We have King of Wands for the person down here. Okay. All right, so fire energy. You might be dealing with the fire sign, okay? You might be de dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. You could be dealing with anybody. Um, let's see. 
So this energy up here, Knight of Wands, is, you know, for some, this is a player energy, but this energy is in and out. So when we relate it to Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is lack, okay? Not having enough, missing something, all right? So you might be going back and forth in this energy, you know, this fear of not having enough with this Knight of Wands. Down here, King of Wands. King of Wands is Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Uh, King of Wands is, you know, can be a very, very confident energy. You know, sometimes... You know, this is also a card that, you know, speaks to integrity, doing things with integrity, which speaks to this card of truth over here. So, but sometimes, you know, it's weird. Sometimes I feel like King of Wands, um, you know, it is like a mask for some people, like an overconfidence. You know, like this person has to put on a certain mask in order to exist in society. Indicated with this, this whip and this book of secrets. And letting go. It, this feels, this King of Wands feels like a burden. You know, I don't normally feel that with King of Wands, but I feel like this King of Wands card feels like a burden. It's like, look at all of this garb that he has to put on, you know, just to go out in his day. It's like, it, it may be starting to feel disingenuous to him or her, it doesn't matter. Up here, Knight of Wands, you know, this is, you know, again, this in and out energy, you know, you might be going back and forth. You might be having the experience of going back and forth, of thinking about your own situation, okay? You might be thinking about this person. You know, how is this connection changing for you right now? You know, sometimes you spend a lot of time thinking about it. Sometimes you don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. You know, it might be that you're in the process of letting this go because it's becoming less important to you. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is contentment, you know, and honestly, you know, Nine of Pentacles is contentment within your financial situation, but it's also being content being single. So, this is what I feel like you go back and forth with. You know, this explains what I just said. You know, like, you are you have a fear of losing things. You have a fear of losing what you have. You know, your stability, your security. And you go in and out with that energy. But I feel like this over here says... You're going to be perfectly okay. You're content. So, again, sometimes you're in this heavy state of worry, and sometimes you're completely content. Down here for this person, we have Ten of Wands. I feel like, again, I feel like the truth, whatever this person's truth is, is what burdens them. And that's why I'm feeling this King of Wands as wearing a mask. Okay? Because if King of Wands represents confidence, um, stature, action, uh, integrity, and he also represents single, okay? Because the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands are the only two King and Queen that are single. Um, why would there be a Ten of Wands burden here? So I feel like the truth is a burden for this person. 
and they carry a lot of burden in their head. And it's saying, let it go. Letting go is the central piece right here. And it's about emotional release. I'm curious, uh, I want to clarify the Ace of Swords for this person and the Ten of Wands for this person. Up here, Five of Pentacles for you. Nine of Pentacles for you. All right, so Five of Pentacles clarified by Seven of Cups. All right, so Seven of Cups is a card of choices, right? So whenever you're feeling that fear or that feeling of lack or that feeling of, you know, something's missing or something's going to be missing from your life or something's going to get hard in your life very soon, realize you have a lot of choices. You have a lot more choice in the matter than you realize, okay? And if you feel like this person down here is going to go missing on you, same thing, okay? And if this person is going missing on you, it's probably because they're a tortured soul, this person down here feels like a very tortured soul, like they carry a lot of weight. All they have to do to get rid of it is to emotionally release it. And I feel like with um, 21 emotional re release, 21 breaking down to a three, there's something that this person has to admit that they're not admitting right now. Or there's something that this person might find very embarrassing to share with people but they would find once they did share it, whether it's with you or with whoever, they would find it would actually bring them a huge emotional release. Something that they might feel ashamed of or embarrassed by, but once they were to release that or communicate it, they would find out how many other people share the same story or share the same challenges that they wouldn't be judged for it. Whatever it is, whatever it is. All right, so let's see. Ace of Swords clarified by Four of Swords. So this person spends an enormous amount of time thinking about whatever their truth is. Too much time. What they really need to be doing in order to emotionally release this is not be thinking about it 24-7, it's about taking the time to release it and talk about it. And again, that might be with you. Ten of Wands for this person. Lovers. So you have the minor arcana around choices and they have the major arcana around choices. This is the card of Gemini. All right, so... You know, this is validating that there is a connection between the two of you, but I feel like both of you right now are going through something. It might be separate from each other or it might have to do with each other, but both of you are in the process of, you know, you're in a in a in a turmoil. You you're afraid of losing something and them they're afraid of exposing something. But this lover's card here definitely indicates that there is a connection here between the two of you. It's like connected but separate. Nine of Pentacles clarified by four Pentacles. So you feel that, you know, this four of Pentacles can be the can be a little bit of the, the miser card, right? Holding on to all of your pentacles so nobody else can have them, making sure that you never feel like you're missing something or you never feel like you're losing something. Um, and that's how you create this contentment in your singleness, okay? Um, that's not 
that's not necessarily the, the best way to go about it, but I understand it, right? Um, I want one more. I want to see what it is that you're holding back. Ten of Pentacles. All right, so, yeah, abundance is very important to you. And whatever abundance in your life that you have, that you're going back and forth on, that you might be worried about. You know, Ten of Pentacles indicates abundance in every aspect of life. Family, love, you know, financial, career, just happiness in general. You are holding on to that for dear life. But the, there's... What does this Knight of Wands represent to you? Two of Wands. So Two of Wands. This Two of Wands is actually facing this Seven of Cups over this Five of Pentacles. That says that you know that you have choices, but you also know the direction that you're going to go in, which is what? King of Wands. Interesting. So we have King of Wands down here, King of Wands up here. Uh, again, this can be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So there's something about this King of Wands down here that I feel like is important to you and is affecting your choices. And it's this King of Wands is what you feel is missing. Let's clarify the King of Wands down here. Nine of Wands. This person is so cautious with whatever it is they are holding back. You know, this card is the card of overthinking. This card is the card of suspiciousness and cautiousness. And it's all around something that this person carries as the truth, but is, I feel, terrified to reveal. One more down here. High Priestess. So the High Priestess is can be about secrets. I'm curious, I'm just going to pull one card for this person right on this Book of Secrets because we have this High Priestess here. I want to see what this says. Seven of Pentacles. All right, just not telling me. One more. Ace of Cups. So this person is, I feel, heavily burdened. This person down here is heavily burdened by carrying around a secret or something that they feel is embarrassing or diminishing to them um, that might take away their King of Wands stature. You know, and this has to do with, this has to do with love in some way. You know that you want to be with this King of Wands, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign, okay? But it's this King of Wands energy that, you know, again, I'm feeling like is wearing a mask in this particular um, reading. And it's like, I feel like this over here could be your expectation with this King of Wands. And over here, this could be your expectation of your life without the King of Wands. You know, and maybe this King of Wands, what they have to tell you might, you know, might be 
letting you know that this might not be possible right away. We might have to start off like this. We might have to start off not having a massive amount of abundance. Ace of Cups. You know, starting off fresh. But there's something that this person, you know, I feel like has to tell you that it may have to do with it may have to do with money, it may have to do with the job. You know, somebody might have lost a job and is extremely ashamed of it. And to you it's like, "Hey, you know, not a big deal. You'll get another job." Or this person might have had a major financial loss. that they're embarrassed to talk about. And I feel like it really, it tortures them. It just does. It tortures them and they have to release it. They have to let it go. So anyway, that is what I have for you. Um, just a reminder, I am doing same day readings tomorrow. If um, you want to reach out to get one of those, you can. Uh, thank you for any positive thoughts about Scout. I appreciate it. And that is what I have for you. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Libra. Have a good week. Bye-bye.